Hello, my friends. Walter here. If you're one of my regular viewers, you know I've been trying to jerk a post here lately. Today, I welcome you to the conclusion of jerk a post. We might get this thing out of the ground today. You might see it jump right out of the ground. Walter here. You know, sometimes you can just overthink a project. And I think that's what I've done with this pole pole. Sure, this rail is heavy and it's in dirt. But I've wasted two or three hours of my time trying to get this thing out of the hole. And all along, the answer was right here. Sometimes it's easy, the old simplest way is the easiest way. All that time I wasted, I could have dug up this post three times with this shovel. And we did have a little rain, so the water dirt ought to be a little softer. I'm going to spend some time digging on this hole. If I get tired, I'll quit and rest. But eventually we're going to get it dug up without a whole lot of engineering and fulcrum building and everything else. softer now that it rained here yesterday. Georgia's dirt, at least this dirt we got around here, is infiltrated with rocks that can make it hard to deal. We're going to dig to China if we have to. I get it loosened up enough around there and get this dirt here out. I think my chain on my truck will drag it right up the hill. We're gonna find out. Well, I'm halfway to China right now. Anybody speak English over there? clean out there and see if we can see the bottom of the rail yet. Yeah, we have hit cement. I don't know why the cement is so deep. That's why it wasn't moving. There's a big old hunk of cement on that rail. It must be a lot deeper than I thought it was. Maybe I just didn't have very much cement. Yep, 
Yep. You ain't gonna pull up a pole that's got cement on it without moving the dirt. I'm sure I'm rushing the gun, but I'm getting tired of digging. I've got a good, let's see. I've got a good 18 inches of the cement exposed down there. Some of it's still in the dirt. And I need to keep digging, but I'm gonna stop and pull one time with the chain. See if there's any looser in there. Canadian geese are going north. Big old flock of them.
Yes, sir. Y'all thought I was going to give up. I know you did. All right, we got a hunk of cement on there, a good two feet. That pole was three and a half feet in the ground. And it looks like I possibly hit the cement, but I don't think it broke. Now we gotta get it up the hill without tearing up the property. Well, my friends, I dragged it up the hill. I didn't know the camera was off. I, I thought I was videoing it driving away. But anyway, it's out of the hole. Now we just gotta fill up this big old hole. And y'all thought I couldn't do it. Poor shame. <laughs> well, there's my gate post in all her glory. Out of the ground. Dragged up here by that driveway. And each step that I take Big stride represents about three feet. One, two. Okay, that rail was over seven feet long. It was buried up here to the dirt. But it had a good two feet of cement on it. I'll take a sledgehammer and bust that cement off. All right, answer me the age-old question. I had to go get a rake. Finish just putting that dirt in the hole, but why is it that when you dig a hole, there ain't never enough dirt to fill that hole back up? Sometimes the old-fashioned way is still the easiest way. Thanks for watching, my friends.